So in the previous video, we saw that if the list is already in ascending order and you want to put the list into ascending order, then this appeared to be the best case scenario um, and it was order of n complexity in that case. But of course, when we talk about complexity, we really are looking at worst case scenario. So we're going to now try the shuttle sort uh, when it is in complete reverse order and we'll see how many comparisons we're dealing with then. So, first of all, we would compare 4 and 5. They need to be swapped, and so we'd now have 4, 5, 3, 2, 1. So in the first pass, we make one comparison. Then we bring in 3. 3 gets compared with 5, and they will swap. Then 3 will get compared with 4, and they will swap. And we would have 3, 4, 5, 2, 1. So on that second pass, we made two comparisons. Then we bring in 2. 2 gets compared with 5, and we swap. 2 gets compared with 4, and we swap. 2 gets compared with 3, and we swap. So we'd have 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. And so on the third pass, we would have three comparisons. Then we bring in 1. 1 gets compared with 5 and we swap, then with 4 and we swap, then with 3 and we swap, then with 2 and we swap, and so we'd end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1 got compared with each of them, so there were 4 comparisons on the 4th pass. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, you can see that the triangular numbers are coming through again for the total number of comparisons. So 1, 3, 6, 10. And that has a formula for the total number of comparisons of 1 half n times n minus 1, where n is the number of numbers in your list. So because we had five numbers in the list, the total number of comparisons is one half times five times four, which is ten. Okay, And when you expand that out, of course, we get one half n squared take away one half n, which is order of n squared, so quadratic complexity, in exactly the same way as you have for the bubble sort and the quick sort also being of quadratic complexity as well. So all three algorithms that we have considered, the worst case scenario has been quadratic complexity.